Hello from Some Coast. This video is about the Kennedy Space Center. The center was originally called the NASA Launch Operations Center and is located near the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Florida. This particular visit to the Space Center took place on Friday, November 25, 2022, the day after Thanksgiving. The trip was a choice between shopping and fighting crowds in the stores on Black Friday or visiting the famous Rocket Launch Center. Easy choice! I am going to start by telling you about the history of the Kennedy Space Center. The Kennedy Space Center KSC, is the primary NASA launch center for human spaceflight since 1968. Since 2010 the KSC has become a spaceport and private companies have used the facilities for their operations including SpaceX and Blue Origin. The Apollo, Project Mercury and Gemini, Skylab and Space Shuttle programs were carried out from the KSC Space Center Launch Complex 39. Project Apollo was dedicated by President John F. Kennedy as a national goal, to land a man on the moon and returning him safely to Earth. The Apollo program lasted from 1967 to 1973 and there were 13 Saturn V rocket launches. The Apollo program was NASA's third human spaceflight program and was preceded by Project Gemini. The Apollo project was fraught with challenges and setbacks. In 1967, the crew of Apollo 1 was killed when a cabin fire started during pre-launch. President Kennedy's promise to land a man on the moon and return him safely back to Earth came true on July 20, 1969. The three pioneer astronauts who made up the crew of Apollo 11 were Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. At 9.56 p.m. Houston time, Neil Armstrong stepped onto the lunar surface, proclaiming, that's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. He was the first man to step on the moon. The whole world watched in amazement. But after Apollo 11 the interest of the public in the NASA project dwindled. There were several other Apollo missions to the moon after Apollo 11. The last moon mission was in December 1972. The two-man crew that stepped on the moon, consisting of Harrison Schmidt and Eugene Cernan spent over three days on the surface of the moon. Skylab was the first United States space station and it operated from 1973 to 1979. Because the space shuttle was not yet available to boost the space station back into orbit, its orbit started decaying disintegrated in the atmosphere on July 11, 1979. The space shuttle was the first reusable spacecraft. Well, partly reusable. It was launched vertically like a conventional rocket but when it returned from space, it landed like a glider. The space shuttle operated from 1981 to 2011. There were a total of five shuttles, Enterprise, Columbia, Challenger, Discovery, and Atlantis. Two of the shuttles were lost during missions. The primary purpose of the shuttle was to carry men and equipment into space and it completed successfully many missions. There are many more stories to tell but I'm afraid, my little presentation came to an end. I hope you liked it. Don't forget that there are more than 60 other videos available to you on this channel. Goodbye and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.